Hi, my name is Makita. I am more than 5 years working as web developer and about 2 years as Meteor developer. Today I will talk about different types of connection, your web project for Meteor and mobile application writing using React Native. Imagine that we already have a web service which will be a source of data for our application. In this case I mean ways to authentication and data for anything like posts, user or products. We have a Meteor.js which have a DDP React source data and what we have in React Native from the box. To light the subject I prepared the trip in two ways, using fetch requests and implementation of DDP client. Fetch is a pretty easy to use, it looks very similar to XML HTTP request but only asynchronous and cannot be undone and creates one HTTP request and returns promise. You can also use construction features of async await with ES6. Here you can see examples of post and get requests. But there is a question. What Meteor should do with a fetch request when it works with reactive source of data? Here is a simple answer. We will create a REST service on Meteor. We will have special routing for each request and we will create your API. For this we will use npm and packages, connect and fibers. Connect package we will listen all created roles of our servers and return everything what you want, for example collection of documents in JSON format. Fibers will be used for wrapping our async code for Meteor. At the conclusion of fetch I'll say it's just very easy to do and if you do not need, send a super large bunch of data like files continuously and receive real-time updates without timers, then this is your option. If you send in files then it's better to not use because it's the transfer JSON data has its limits and supporting of multi-part form data in React Native is not good. But as I am more fan of technology of WebSockets without great amount of headers there we can have reactive updates from database and DDP with subscriptions. We can transfer to Meteor in the same format. We can update and reinitialize connection and have really rapid changes. In the documentation of React Native, we have example of using WebSockets, and it's very easy to use. It looks in the official version. So this WebSockets but is not DDP which we traditionally using in Meteor. So I look into consideration npm package with ready ddp client for use it in react native, which in practice work very well with Meteor. To construct model in your app we will need these four methods. First method is a connect. Here we just ask Meteor to link WebSocket with our application. Here you can see the configuration of the local Meteor server. Second method is a close. After unmounting of component we just ask DDP client to close connection. In this point it's all you need to know about open and close connections with DDP client. Now we go to third method of model methods, reactive subscription and observe of meter collections. Here you can see subscription and observe which describe it in the model of our component. And here model. It's all we do in order to get reactive changes if they are. To change something in a collection or we need only one step from DDP client and the method call. We just call the server method consisting with actions of our Meteor environment. From this point of view, in Meteor you only need to make directives for publication, allow deny rules and server methods which will be the same on React Native DDP call method. For each action with our collection. From all previous actions we can see that we made a complete DDP client for React Native. We had configured it, add initialization and close connection. We had add steps to subscribe observe collections of our server and we have access to all actions with collections of Meteor server.